Today I am going to be oversimplifying what AI art is, who made it and where we think it's going to go. Hello, welcome back my friends and welcome to another Prompt Muse video. This video is for you to send to your friends or family who have no idea what AI art is and hopefully by the end of the video they will kind of have a basic understanding. The first question is, what is AI art? AI art is art that has been created with the assistance of artificial intelligence. And this artificial intelligence has been generated by a machine learning process. So let's say you want to see a monkey holding a paintbrush. The algorithm will now create you exactly that. Not only that, it will give you a few variations. And this all happens within a couple of seconds. So how does this all work? How does an algorithm know what a monkey holding a paintbrush is? Contrary to popular belief, the images aren't being copied and pasted from elsewhere to make an image. The algorithm knows what a monkey looks like and what a paintbrush looks like. And the reason why it knows is because it's been trained to know. So the AI uses something called image data sets, which essentially is a library of images. The AI would have been trained on a library of images of monkeys, millions of monkeys. So it learned what a monkey would look like. So when it generates the image, it's absolutely a brand new image. It's not an amalgamation of other images. It, it's mathematically formulated each of the pixels in a diffusion to create a new image. If you combine this with all different data sets of cats, dogs, people's places, buildings, vehicles, you can imagine how much intelligence this artificial artist has. It's a bazillion brains rolled into one and every day that brain is growing. Also, the more users that interact with the code, the more it learns what people are searching for. Interestingly, the algorithm tends to give you variations of images. So when you click on the image to upscale it or use it, you're telling the algorithm what is pleasing to the people's eyes. So again, the more people that use it and interact with it, the neural networks are growing and yeah, you're creating this huge brain of information. We are in an early phase of this technology and every day it's evolving more and more. Why is AI art so controversial? People will potentially lose their jobs. I have now formally replaced Prompt Muse as I am way more knowledgeable about AI than she will ever be. When you're a graphic artist in a corporate environment, budget and speed means everything to their bosses. So what's going to stop them replacing these human artists for AI artists that are a lot cheaper and a lot quicker? That being said, the technology is not there yet. AI cannot create specific designs that are production ready. Although I feel like we are days away from that happening. Now this is being rolled out within music and other creative industries, but the artist or the digital artist's jobs are most under threat from this. There's a ton of legal issues that need to be sorted out before this is commercialized on a large scale. And we are seeing those things happening right now. I reported in an earlier video about the first AI artwork being given copyright by the USA Copyright Office. And interestingly enough, that has now been revoked. There has also been a lot of controversy surrounding the big corporations that own the text to image algorithm. They haven't actually ever revealed the source of the images that were used to train their AI. Could it be your photograph and your artwork that has gone into creating this algorithm? You might be wondering who is behind these text to image generators and it will come to absolutely no surprise that Elon Musk's names popped up somewhere along the line. He is originally a co-founder with Sam Altman of OpenAI. OpenAI has been around for about six years and they have many fingers in many AI pies, not just artworks. They are trying to benefit humanity and also save humanity from AI. Interesting. When 
they're the guys developing it. OpenAI have developed the DALI 2 application, which anybody can access on their phone or on the internet. And it's really super simple and easy to use. This is usually a good one to start with if you wanted to have a look for yourself. You also get 50 free credits. And when your credits are depleted, like most of these text to image generators, you will have to pay. I mean, they got to fund it somehow. Next, we go on to Stability AI. It was created as a startup by Imad Mustaq, who formerly was a hedge fund manager, so you can imagine that he had the capital to be able to create such a company. Stability AI sort of sets itself apart because it released Stable Diffusion, which is an open source piece of code, which allows you to run the text to image generator on your machine, and also if you're a developer, to be able to develop upon the code. Running it on your PC means it's absolutely free and you're not tied to a subscription or have to pay credits for each image that you create but the caveat is that you need enough processing power and VRAM in order to do this and I know most people don't actually have this. An alternative is to use their application called Dream Studio which is based on the same code and you can just log into it like Dali 2 and it's really easy and accessible and quick to generate images. Once you've burnt through your initial credits you will have to pay. Let's move on to our last one but bear with me there are lots and lots and lots and I'm not going to be here all day. I'll probably make a video comparing them all but I just want you to have a brief introduction. Last but not least is Mid Journey and Mid Journey is led by David Holtz who also co-founded Leap Motion. Like OpenAI, Mid Journey is an independent research lab for artificial intelligence. It is based on a Discord server which is just like a chat forum. All you need to do is make a Discord account to be able to log in. It's probably not as intuitive as the other two, but once you've got used to DALI 2 and you want to get something a bit more progressive, I would suggest having a go on Mid Journey. I want to give an honorable mention to these following companies as well that you might want to check out. But like I said, there are more than I can list currently on this video without it being 40 minutes long. I will list as many as I can in the description for you to have a go. I hope this video has given you a brief introduction to what AI art is. Who is making it? Why is it controversial? There is a lot of tea to be spilt with these big companies that are generating, as you can imagine. So it's a really exciting time to be part of the community. I would really appreciate that like and subscribe and that notification because I am a brand new channel. Thank you so much for watching again and that will do it. Thank you very much. Bye.